Hello, everybody. This is Amy with Bible Prophecy and World Events. Um, I've worked on this for a while. It has to do with the covenant with many prophesied by Daniel the prophet in chapter 9, verse 27. The covenant with many. I worked on a whiteboard a couple of times, a really big one, but it didn't um, give me the clarity that I needed as far as viewing on the on the video here. So this is all about the Glasgow meeting, November 1st, 2021. That covenant being finished, um, Pope Francis worked on this covenant with world leaders and religious leaders for at least five years, since around 2015, and pretty much finished all the work by 2020. Um, I'm going to go through this, and prayerfully, um, I will get this uh, clear and um, be able to speak clearly about this and go through the chart and the notes that I made with everything uh, involved with the covenant with many in the scriptures. So we're going to start here with the covenant with many. This is the second beast where the Antichrist orchestrates this covenant. This covenant has happened. This second beast from the earth, the Antichrist, assembles, has assembled, the first beast out of the sea. This then facilitates the mark of the beast, and it causes the abomination of desolation, using great deception, as Jesus said there would be great deception, so great that if possible, even the elect would be deceived, if possible. So, it's not possible. Going to the first beast, <clears throat> which was assembled by the Antichrist, the first beast out of the sea, which Daniel the prophet also spoke of, same beast, Babylonian beast, the last Babylonian kingdom on earth. This includes world leaders, religious leaders, all ran by the second beast, the dragon. The dragon runs the Antichrist. In this first beast, these powers, they use the world's military, scientists, physicists, technological systems, the internet, of, that's, that's, that's the huge thing right there. They need the internet. They need the internet of things. And all of Satan's workers, so these leaders and the Antichrist use all of Satan's workers in this last Babylonian kingdom to accomplish the works of darkness. To go on further about this covenant, again, we're going to go over here, the covenant with many, it's being called COP26, also Agenda 2030, which has thousands of pages, by the way, and includes climate change and all kinds of stuff, all an umbrella for the Antichrist to do the works of darkness. It's called the New World Order. They don't like to call it that anymore. This is all religious leaders and world powers they have already made and finished this covenant with the Antichrist. These leaders contain the, the ten horns. The leaders are ten horns in that first beast in Revelation chapter 13 under the Antichrist. These leaders contain the ten horns from the first beast out of the sea on that beast. I later will show a diagram of all these things as well. The date of the covenant that was completed, the covenant with many, is November 1st, 2021, in Glasgow, Scotland. I'm going to do a very detailed video on this, this whole thing, and what some of those leaders said, clearly depicting the Antichrist and his trillions 
that are more, quote, powerful than all the world's armies. So the video that I'm going to be doing about all this is going to be next. So moving along from the covenant with many, it goes along with Revelation chapter 13. All this right here, this first beast, all these leaders, the Antichrist, this is all explained in Revelation chapter 13. The first beast out of the sea equals the last and fourth Babylonian kingdom referred to in the scriptures in Revelation as he. Let's move over here. As he. So it's in the masculine. The second beast from the earth equals the Antichrist ran by Satan the dragon. Now in Revelation chapter 13 in these scriptures we see the mark of the beast. The mark is a piercing. In context it's a piercing going to the Latin and Greek. We have the number of his name 666. That is the number of that man of sin that the scriptures talk about, Satan. We have the image of the beast, which is the serpent. And I've done videos on this before. This image is being revealed as Ouroboros, the snake that eats its own tail, rebirth, think about it, imitation of being reborn in Christ, Satan's imitation, and it's on all internet devices, whether it's, you know, anything internet, anything you're using on the internet, you see it do this constantly, okay? And I did a video about that as well. The Pope brought that in in 2016 at Together 2016 with all of these 40 very famous Christian singers with Ouroboros on the stage. There was no coincidence and it was called Reset, which they also call this, Agenda 2030. In more detail, we have the second beast. Oh, let me go back. The mark, the number, and the image, they're all three together in the mark, which I said is piercing in correct context. In the jab, I did a, this in a video as well. They keep saying jab. That in the Latin means piercing. These are one and the same, and that's why they use this language. The second beast, the Antichrist, causes, causes all that dwell on the earth to receive the mark of the beast and to worship the image of the beast that are not in the Lamb's book of life. The second beast, the Antichrist indwells, I mean Satan indwells the Antichrist. He gives the first beast his power. Have a little focus problem here on the camera. Let's get that together. Satan gives his, okay here we go, it's, it's clear now. The Antichrist is indwelled by Satan, and the dragon, Satan, gives the first beast, that system we talked about, the leaders, the first beast, his power, his seat, that's a position, and great authority. Okay, moving along. First seal, right here, they get great authority to go conquering and to conquer. This is the fulfillment of the first seal. The first seal in Revelation that the Lamb of God opens, he opens all the seals, they contain the seven trumpet judgments and the seven vials of wrath. This first seal is the Antichrist spirit. The rider on the white horse, so it's an imitation of our 
Lord Jesus Christ riding on the white horse when he returns with us behind him on horses, the saints, okay? This antichrist spirit is given a crown, very important word, to go conquering and to conquer with what? Great authority. Okay, as I've discussed before, the Lord led me to the Latin when all of this started happening in Wuhan. Corona is Latin for the English word crown. They have been given a crown, you see that? They have been given their crown. The word crown in this context is great authority. The writer is also given a bow with no arrow, signifying a false peace. The first beast right now, that, that those leaders under the Antichrist, the Babylonian kingdom, religious leaders, military, everybody, world leaders, they're saying peace and safety with their world agenda. What does the Bible say? When they say peace and safety, then cometh sudden destruction. So we're going to move back up here again. I want to say something about Revelation chapter 13, the first beast, the second beast, all of this stuff. This is happening while the fifth trumpet judgment fulfills with the mark. These work together. It's a circular fulfillment, not linear. The book of Revelation covers everything from Genesis to eternity, the beginning to the end. So there's a lot to be said about that, okay? I'm saying that, if I'm, I'm hoping to be clear on this, these seven trumpet judgments are in fact fulfilling with the seven seals. So I, I did, uh, if, you, if you can go back to the video I did uh, called the uh, seven seals, seven trumpet judgments, and seven vials. I explain that in detail, what the Lord has shown me in the scriptures. So we're going to move on to here. Okay, again, all these, I wrote this out, this particular chart on 11-22-21. All of these things are happening now, some manifesting fully soon. So this covenant that they did November 1st, 2021, they finished it with the Antichrist. This covenant with many happens during the tribulation. The scriptures show us that. And in, this happens, this covenant happens in the 70th week of years. There's much to say about that as well with this new variant, Omicron, okay? I just, um, I'm going to put a short message out about that specifically. There's a lot to do with this here, okay? This was just yesterday. Today's date is November 28th, 2021. So yesterday they announced it. Uh, but let's go back to the covenant with many during the tribulation and in the 70th week of years. In the last week of Daniel's 70 weeks of years in that prophecy, we find that in Daniel 9, chapter 9, verses 24 through 27. Now keep in mind, the 69th week of years was fulfilled when Messiah was cut off, but not for himself. That's when Jesus was crucified for our sins, and he died on the cross for our sins. He was cut off, but not for himself. So the 69th week of years was fulfilled, and there was a pause in that prophecy until... We got to the last generation of Israel starting in 1948. That's the fig tree, okay? And that 70th week of years, which we are the tribulation, has to happen in that last generation. And that's why we're now to the fulfillment of a generation, which is 70 plus years, 70 to 80 years. We're there now. And the tribulation is taking place. This covenant with many also causes the first seal to fulfill, the Antichrist spirit, causes the second seal to increase. The second seal is war. Remember, Matthew 24, 
Jesus told us about all these things, and all the other Gospels and prophets mention all of these things. This covenant with many also causes the third seal to manifest. The third seal is famine, economic imbalance, which is coming quickly. It causes the fourth seal to manifest, which is death. Lots of it's going to come from this. Okay. It causes the fifth seal to manifest, martyrdom. We know that during the tribulation there'll be uh, saints killed for their faith. The Bible says so. And all who don't take the mark of the beast. The covenant with the Antichrist increases wickedness and abominations to God on this earth during this prophetic fulfillment. This all brings in the sixth seal, which is basically the cosmic end. This is when God's wrath comes upon the earth, and it's during the sixth seal. But I've got good news. The sixth seal brings in the gathering of God's elect, the rapture. Because the sixth seal is God's wrath, we know the saints are taken up. God's children are not appointed to God's wrath. We know this. God's children are not appointed to wrath. Then we have, after that, the seventh seal, near or at the end of the tribulation. This is a half hour of silence in heaven. And at the end of the tribulation, the Lord Jesus Christ returns, the King of kings and Lord of lords. So you see how all this works together. And, you know, as far as this, um, the wickedness, we see many scriptures, the lawlessness um, of people, um, the violence that increases. Second Thessalonians chapter 2 uh, talks about when the Antichrist is revealed. We see these things. We see the great falling away, which is happening. People would rather trust in, trust in the science. Well, God said God's will is for us to trust in the Son, to believe on the Son, the Son of God. But the spirit of fear is covering the whole earth in the lukewarm are filled with fear. And they would rather go and trust in science than trust in God and believe all of these wicked doers that make the covenant with that, that, that make the covenant with the Antichrist. Time is short. This has happened. It's happened. We're going to see things happen very quickly now. Be prepared spiritually above all things and physically too. We have to get our houses in order and our spiritual, the temple of God. We are the temple of God. That Antichrist cannot sit in the holy place of God's elect. He cannot because the deception will be so great that if it were possible, the elect would be deceived. But praise God, it's not possible. I hope this blesses all of you. Um, I'm going to do a detailed message about this. And I took a lot of notes. I did a lot of research. Um, a lot of research. Uh, scriptures to bring to you guys. And uh, the language that they're all using. Um, that just proves even more that this is, in fact, the covenant with many, as prophesied by Daniel in the end. God bless you, and Lord willing, I'll do another message right after this very soon.